Hello guys and welcome to that SLB2 dude. Now this is going to be a little bit of a short video just to talk about a little issue that's been affecting me for about two years but now I guess I guess around a month ago I've sort of found a fix for it and uh, now it doesn't really bother me when playing Splatoon 2 uh, at all now. Now I've been kind of holding out on this video because I really wanted to make sure that it was a thing that kind of affected people's aim and I asked several players, several top players to try this out and you know people in my stream to go ahead and try it out and funny enough the results were all the same people were telling me that their aim is now cons more consistent when using motion controls in this game now it's not going to be a thing that's going to affect the input delay that is within this game i mean some of you might not even think there's input delay in splatoon 2 but trust me there is but it's going to be able to make sure that your motion controls don't feel completely unnatural and basically every time you aim in a certain position it's basically your cross is going to go in that same position every single time it's going to be consistent enough rambling let's get into it the the first thing that you need to have to make sure that this works is that you need to make sure that you have a wide connection this is probably what's going to give you the best results to make sure that this happens and uh, just to show you on the home screen, it shows that I am wired. Now, the other thing that you could probably see is that there's a little aeroplane next to my wired uh, connection thing, whatever it is. And you know, you could probably tell what I'm going to tell you next. You're going to need to put your Nintendo Switch into flight mode. Now, obviously how you could do this is that you need to be able to take off or take out your Nintendo Switch out of the dock, turn it into flight mode, and then of course, turn controller connection Bluetooth on. Uh, what you do not want to press on is Wi-Fi. Do not turn this on because it, this is basically the thing that is causing a lot of a, I guess, I guess wireless interference. Now, if it's a thing, if you don't have like an Ethernet adapter to allow Ethernet connection to your Nintendo Switch, what I would recommend is make sure that you have only one wireless connection connected to your Switch. Because the thing that I've kind of figured out is that the Nintendo Switch tends to flicker uh, between connections and it has the, has the capability of doing that so if you're connected to more than one wireless connection then that might be a thing that might happen and of course the Nintendo Switch is connecting to all these different 2.4 gigahertz connections or wherever type hurt connections it's also going to be a thing that's going to affect your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now I'm not the biggest technical guy when it comes to internet connections and Wi-Fi connections and what might interfere and what might not interfere but for whatever reason, when you turn flight mode on uh, for the Nintendo Switch, it just seems to work. Now, obviously, it might not. This might not be a thing that affects a lot of people, uh, because maybe a lot of people are not really exposed to many, like loads of different types of uh, connections that are near your Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But for whatever reason, this works. And for the last month, my aim has been as consistent as it has ever been like you probably have actually noticed it in some of my videos now that my aim is like a lot better compared to uh previous videos like i kind of just seem to miss a lot more things but now it's just not an issue i just aim pretty much perfectly now these days so for whatever reason it works so go try it for yourself make sure that you have a wide connection or ethernet connection to connect it to your nintendo switch that will also help your online play to experience and um honestly that's going to be the video i hope this helped you guys aim a little bit better and uh and i hope for whatever reason it defeats all the connection issues that could occur with the nintendo switch pro controller or the nintendo switch in general so uh basically yeah that's gonna be it nintendo please make wide connection for your nintendo switch pro controller a viable option make it so that input lag is not a thing because for whatever reason when you put wide connection to your uh nintendo switch pro controller there's even more input lag than ever when it should be com the complete opposite so yeah that's basically it hope this helps and i shall see you guys in another video